news from Jack? There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? An explosion. There's something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. Right, what's up guys? Waddle Gaming here and welcome back to more LA Noir. We're starting our last DLC case, which you can probably tell isn't going so well. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, they're dead. They don't get to live. The commander will want us at the scene. Let's go. Jesus. I never see nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. Get delayed somewhere? What in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? We're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion. I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with it. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, brother. Vaporized is such a strong word. But yes, they got vaporized. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. So, what exactly have we got around here that's going to help us? Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. Yep, the laundry tag. And it looks like there's something over here where these cops Detective, are sitting. Have you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. Tomoko Akamato. Japanese name. Okay. What is this? Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. And we've also got what looks like a camera. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. I want to thank you, Phelps, for flashing that in my face. That was really, really nice. Thank you for that. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. So, H equals K. First letter to the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. Oh, here we go. 
So we've got an N. Wait, where did we get that from? Wait a second. Yeah, K. And then if we peel around to S. Here we go. I have no idea how I got this, but I'm get held to hell with it. I'm going to go with it. And then we've got B. Uh, then we've got O. And then J. And then L. And then K again. Yep. And then Q. Then X. Then S. And then B. It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Don't even ask me how I managed to do that, because I really don't know. Right, what else have we got around here? And look, there's that dick of a police chief. Let's just skirt around him. Don't want to talk to him at all. What else have we got? There's got to be something else here. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. What have you got? Any idea what this is? Very large egg cup. Viking helmet. How would I know? Oh. That's Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. I thought four of these was a tough break. Okay. The P and W Wasp Major R something. And apparently we're still missing stuff. Oh, nope. The magical music has played, signaling that I have explored. So I take it we're done here, and we need to head for the exit. I think the exit was over here. Hello, who are you? And what do you want? I'm Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. So, why did the plant explode? Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's... Uh, Classified information, son. Don't stick that classified information bullcrap at me, buddy. Just tell me. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Okay then, and the whereabouts of Akamoto? Who is Tamako Akamoto? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. I'm sure she did. Akamoto was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? Because she's literally carrying around a spy camera inside her briefcase. How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. And the whereabouts of McClellan? What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? 
You blew up six blocks. And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. Uh, the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. Got it. So they're either migrants or something else. Got it. So, where can we go to next? You know next? the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Well, we don't know where Superior Laundry is, so let's head to the deciphered address. You think McClellan went up in smoke? Or is he still alive? You could ask the same question about Tamako Akamoto. I guess you could. You got an answer? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Alright, and here we are. Let's not look at where it is, let's just look for the door with the- Oh. It's already open. Hello, who's hiding in the fridge? Somebody turned the place over. You think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Why would you want to get shoved in a fridge? Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Right, so we've got a bullet wound to the head, it appears. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. That's a nasty way of going out. A class ring. Hmm. So no clues there. What else have we got? We have to use the telephone, but we'll deal with that later. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Okay, what else have we got around here? We got a bit of blood. A lot of blood. Okay, nothing there. What else have we got? It's got to be something better. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Right, and we're done in here. Biggs, edge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. All right, give me that phone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size, and it looks like a cone of some sort. Stamped on the inside, P and W Wasp Major R forty three sixty. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, four seven six six Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. 
So, we've got an address for Superior Laundry Services, so we better get over to there next. Get in, Herschel, you're driving. You can drive. So where do you want to go? I want to go to the Laundry Services. So get in the damn car and let's go. What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Gee, thanks, buddy. Who was, uh, J2620, Cole? Dr. H Oscar Hanstrom. Who is Hanstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. What help? He didn't help at all, Cole. What do you mean? Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, badge 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Fix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Thanks. So, a complete dead end for Hangstrom, so... Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? We better get over to Hughes Aircraft and figure out exactly what this part is being used for. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right so, Mace. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hang. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck beds for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl. Okay, we decided to stop that conversation. So, restricted area. Armed guards and vicious sentry dogs. That sounds pleasant. Photography is prohibited in this area. Well, that's nice to know that we can't take any pictures. Now, what's this plane look like? Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? Oh. This is the spruce goose. Jesus Christ, Biggs. You want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. So, the Nicholson plant explosion. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. 
And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. And the knowledge of Akamoto? Do you know Tamako Akamoto? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. And the knowledge of McClellan? Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How you gonna prove any of that? Well, the prop spinner had to come from somewhere. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Want to take a look inside her? And her? Biggs, that sounds incredibly, incredibly dirty, but sure, let's take a look. Let's take a look up here first. What have we got up in this dingy looking office up here? Alright, nothing there. What about these two photographs? Does Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. And the other photograph? And an unknown address. Well, okay then. So, before we take a look inside the Spruce Goose, or whatever the bloody name of this plane is, Let's go around to... Yeah, around to where the engines are. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. What is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Right, that's all done there. Dude, get out of my way. Let's go take a look inside this big behemoth of a uh, plane. This looks like linseed oil here. Hmm. McClellan's process was going to replace all this. No more buying linseed oil. I can see how that would be profitable. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Okay, there's got to be a place to do that. Here it is right here. 76 degrees west. 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. So, 76 degrees... I... Well, I'm going east, but this would be west. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Okay, then. That was surprisingly easy. Let's see what these guys He's probably done thinking. All right, we better get out of here and head back to the station. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. God damn it, everybody needs to bring that bloody thing up. 
Right, let's get out of here and head back to the station to see what Pinker has got for us. You're behind the wheel. Alright, where to? So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. But this would never go all the way up to Hughes. We would have middlemen deal with stuff like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Hey. I gave his wife a Any messages for me, Hopkins? Not many you'd want to hear. Newspapers wanting interviews and rookies cussing you out, mostly. Nothing else. Pinker wants you in tech services. Maybe you'll be more popular downstairs. Wow, this guy's still being a dick. Right, so how do I get downstairs? I didn't come to California. Uh, that doesn't look like the way. I don't even know how to get downstairs in my own police station. This is going perfectly today. And everybody's getting in my damn way. Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. I'm aware of that. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop. But I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you, you can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. Oh boy, and my favorite photo is coming up first. Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. Shut up, Carruthers. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. So, a rival competitor from Lockheed. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy. And Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. And the next one? Excellent photography, Tomiko. So if Tomiko had the goods on McClellan, too bad they blew the place to hell. There's the chemical process for this. What else have we got? Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? Yeah, forget I asked. And last but not least, we have a number. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. Carruthers just came in and ducked behind a desk. Why do I have a feeling this is going to blow up in my face? Yeah, this one's explosive. Why do you put explosive into a Petri dish? Linseed oil. And now, something that's probably going to react with the acid. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro, and when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. 
And they were using a hundred gallon vat. Damn. I want to pick up my damn hat because Ray just played a mean trick on me that I saw coming. But I still did it anyway. So, we need to head towards that house depicted in the photograph. And by the way, I came out the wrong way, so I'm a smart, smart cookie. Right, what have we got? We've got a lot of gas. This place stinks of petroleum. Have gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Let's go around the floor. Okay. What else have we got besides that? Hangstrom is flying today on TWA. Hangstrom is dead, Paul. Why leave your ticket behind? Mapes is cleaning up. Good old Mapes. Okay, passport. Oscar Hangstrom. Hangstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas. We gotta get out of here right now. Oh god damn it. Look by the stone. That's why pull we're out of here. Right, whoever just did that is a dead man. Fuck. There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. <laughs> Time to wreck that fancy little car he's in. Get back here, shit dick. You're not getting away from me. It's no good. We need to get closer. You just tried to blow me up and set me on fire. Get in close and steer him off the car. This guy isn't going to win. By any circumstances, is not going to win. Traffic stop coming up. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. If I could get close to him, I would. And that was a horrible, horrible jump that I will never repeat again. Security men, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Well, these army guys Let's drive go. like shit. You gotta get me closer. They drive like crap. I took that another guy out in one hit. Take this guy out. Hello, we got another one again. These people just don't seem to learn. Nope. You're not getting away from me that easily, mates. Your cronies just can't drive. It's a sad fact, but it's a fact. Keep it steady and I'll try to push this guy. This guy. This one guy. Oh no, he's getting away from me. I refuse to let him escape. This guy's going into a six meter hole. To go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. The tires. Come on, you useless security people. Bloody useless security members, man. 
They're useless. Stick. Right, that was simple. Let's go get this guy called Mapes. I'm having his car after this. Where are you, you son of a bitch? Worse than a war zone. That actually hurt. Stop playing games and just die. For all our sakes, just die. Very slowly and painfully. Okay, Mapes is all the way up the back there. Need to make my way to him. Very, very slowly. Take out some guys on the way past. Okay. How did that not kill you? Come on, pop your head up again. I need cover! Right, there goes another one. Let's move. Right. Move in the cover. Damn, this guy hurts. Come on. Got him. To explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. So, McClellan and Okamoto might never be heard from again, but neither will Vernon Mapes. And that is where I'm leaving this episode for today. Next time we're doing the grand finale of L.A. Noir. We've got to do a different kind of war to finish off the arson-related cases. So, drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video.